On today's show of At the Cottage with Chef D, I am joined by a really great friend, Chef Christian Pritchard from Aurora Foods, who's doing a whole bunch of social media right at the moment. That's right. But we're going to do caprese chicken, we're going to make a pasta salad, we're going to do pasta with spring peas. Oh, and what is that? I'm going to put it in here. <laughs> and a whole lot more. Won't you join us? Welcome to At The Cottage with me, Chef D. And so I thought, why don't I bring up a really good friend, a really great chef, and somebody that I, I totally enjoy working with, Chef Christian Pritchard. Uh, or Aurora Importing is That's what right. you're doing, right? You're, you're, That's you're right. the corporate guy now. I'm the corporate guy now. I push paper. No, I don't. Still, that's why we cook, that's right? right. Um, you know, but in your rider, it said you need some Smarties, so here you now, go. Okay. Because we're Canadian Smarties, it's not M&M's, right? right? exactly. Okay, but have you removed all the, the brown ones in there? Uh, maybe not. You better, like, and these are the ones now that have changed the color. Yeah, exactly. So that's good. Thank you very much. <laughs> good, you read your rider. Thank you. Thank you. So, Chef D does it right. <laughs> When I ask you to come on, because there's been so many um, information in, whether it be on the internet or in the papers lately and even TV, about olive oil. Right. It's getting a little bit of a bad rap. You bet. You know? And so, when the average consumer is out looking for olive oil, what should they be looking for? Oh, man. First of all, okay. price really does dictate yep. quality in this, <laughs> in this aspect. And you know that, yep. Chef. And the thing is, I think so many people buy oil because it, it's become a commodity on price. Mm -hmm. If you're buying a $3.99 olive oil, hello, <laughs> think about it. You do have to look for quality. Yep. Now, it's one of the great mm -hmm. things that at Aurora we do is when we import um, Cutrera from Sicily mm -hmm. or Basso from uh, Campania in southern Italy, they do things like they'll register, you'll know because it's government registered. Okay. We can find with Basel, for example, yep. where the olives come from. We can trace right back to the trees by things that are listed. Um, in Sicily, they're even stricter. See this IGP yep. is a registered form of governmental check. Okay. Okay. So again, we can go right to the field where these olives are produced in Sicily. And it's like wine. Mm -hmm. And this is something that the wine industry did right for so right. many years. But why there's so... And, and man, when you have good olive oil, you'll know by the color, the taste. Things like the sediment on the bottom, mm -hmm. you'll know from, from good quality. Even the color. Um, it, it varies a little little by little from country. However, that green color, not mm -hmm. that yellowy right. gold color. That's Green. Not, it's yeah. fresh. Remember, what are olives? Fruit. Yep. Right? So you want that fruity, beautiful, right, you're buttery getting, taste. Right. You're getting the juice out of the olive, right? Absolutely. And, and you're right. There is a lot of stuff out there that is, um, mm -hmm. as in Italy, they say finto, fake. It's coming from way overseas, like China. Pretty frightening. Mm -hmm. So know what you get. Pay for what you get. Like, and it makes a difference. Yeah. And you can go to your local, you know, your local grocery store, and they right. do. And you can look for the label. And labels are important. Right. And you know, we'll we'll we'll, we'll put some up on social media, and you can Absolutely. check it out that way, type Absolutely. thing. So I think we should open the one from Sicily because I think I heard be, somebody's going to go there. Be my, yes, I am. Daryl, be be my guest, Chef D, and open that up because I am going to Sicily uh, this fall. I can't wait because mm -hmm. when you get to go to the source and like this olive oil is so good, chef, that we can put this on top of really good ice cream. Because oh. think about, no, you go first, please. Okay. I want you to taste, ready? And the kind of things you want to taste, okay, here he goes, hold on. Oh man. See, it really makes a difference. And you get the butter, seriously, the butter. Buttery, yeah. yeah, but fruit. And, and, and then the pepper right at the end that just grabs exactly. a hold of your throat, you know? This is really interesting because these olive oils have almost a mid taste of mid uh, Italy, like Tuscany, that mm -hmm. peppery note. But because it's from Sicily, it's so warm in Sicily. Cold nights, believe yeah. it or not, because it's elevated. But but the fruit taste out of those is just unbelievable. Like yeah. I said, you can put this on top of really good creamy ice cream with a little bit of lemon zest and salt. People are like, what? Yeah. It's fruit. Come on. <laughs> Quality. Quality. Okay. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, so olive oil is, is where we're at. What about balsamic? You know, oh. like there's so many different okay yeah. out there. And... Okay, again, starting at the three ninety nine one. Yep. That would be for you know your everyday. That's yep. more of a, what we would call a condiment. 
Okay. Like, like we would use, you know, uh, in North American cuisine, mustard and, you know, mm -hmm. condiment. Uh, but when you get into balsamic, there's one word you need, and that's okay. Modena. Okay. Modena is where it's from in Italy. Modena is also the city of um, Ferrari, Lamborghini, <laughs> seriously, Maserati, yep. and Ducati in motorcycles, okay. and the finest balsamic vinegar in the world. Okay. Right? And, and the difference is, is it's just the richness. This, you know, uh, again, you get what you pay for. It packs so much punch with very, very little. Mm -hmm. That's why in Canada and Ontario, what we love is this fresh Ontario strawberries with, with the vinegary, right? A little mm -hmm. bit of salt or a little yep. bit of pepper. Yep. Uh, again, a little bit of ice cream to balance. So go mm -hmm. for this. Now, this is a really good one. You're talking 10 plus years of aging and, oh, oh and this is Ponty. So this is... Um, look at the this, thickness. Look at, look at the thickness. Again. You want not cheap, but you can pack a huge punch. With, look at this. How about that? I know. There it goes into his <laughs> trunk. No problem. You'll be getting that. But but you know what? Like honestly, again, yep. we as fans of food, you and I, yep. but everyone who cooks now, when you get into good ingredients, you can't go wrong. No, you can't. You can't. So you know? just quickly. Yeah. We're, I, I got some greens from my good friends. Um, these are all little microgreens, lots of uh, lots and lots of flavor, right? Perfection. So, and sometimes when you when you put them in with other ingredients, they kind of overpower everything. Yeah. But what we're going to do today with that olive oil and, yeah. and, and the, the balsamic. balsamic. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I mean, how easy. See, for you and I, they think because yeah. we cook all day, yeah. we want these elaborate things. No. To you and I, this is perfect. Look, some like Ontario blueberries, blueberries on there, yeah. wild blueberries. They pack a punch. And now the olive oil from Sicily. From Cutrera, look at this. Look at this. Daryl, come on, come on, give us some more. Because <laughs> you want to wipe your bread in there after, right? <laughs> okay, okay. There you go. I love it. Now, here, look at look at the way that the balsamic pours too, how thick that is. Do you think your 299 condiment uh, no. vinegar does that? No. Not a chance. There's That's a meal right there. Exactly. And simple, easy, you're entertaining at the cottage. It's not hot, it's easy. You grab your blueberries, away you go, you're gonna have some amazing. And again, strawberries and ice cream and this balsamic. Yeah. It's a match made in heaven. Don't you love that we're using the local? Yes. And you know, Italy? Yes. To make something great. Okay, quick question for you before we yes. finish. Um, white balsamic. White balsamic, also fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do, how do they age it? Do they like? Is it aged in barrels or? It can be as well okay. too, but it's it's quite it's newer, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I love white balsamic. White so balsamic I could use more for cooking and stuff okay. too. When you don't want that color as yep. well too, yep. it's a little lighter in flavor I find too, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it's great. What we love in North America for dressings. You're right. Right. You're so Olive right. Olive oil and 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 that's mm -hmm. what we love. when we don't want that black, you know, uh, consistency and that color. The white balsamic is the way to go. Hey, there you have it, a one-on-one -on, -one on olive oil and balsamic. Check out, read the labels, you know, pay a little bit more. You all are worth it, and your guests are going to love it even more. So, the other part of having you on this show, this show is, has, again, all shows have meaning, but this is really special to me because... I'm glad I have meaning for your show. <laughs> because this is my 100th episode on Rogers. Really? Really. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So, again, when you're up at the cottage and you don't want to have, you know, a lot of time spent in the kitchen. And, right. You know, we're, we're the worst at it because yep. we're in it all the time. And when yep. you're here, you do not want to be here. Absolutely. We want to be out there. Oh, we're going to yeah. be. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So, again, easy way to put an antipasto plate together. And... Terminology, antipasto, what does that truly mean? It's it's really the starter. It's like yeah. when you say have an aperitivo, it's the yep. start of a good and meal. It gets your taste buds going, all yep. that good stuff. Italians are the best at doing this because you saw, how long did that actually take me to put together? About 30 seconds. That's right. I spent more time I'd say 45. Jars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But you know what? This is something that people should do a lot more of. Right. It's such a simple inexpensive way to entertain when we get into charcuterie you and i know once yep. we get into meat and cheese yeah great stuff yep. love it yep. traditions you know back to france but antipasti <laughs> of course you take what you yep. add and you jar it you I put know. your vinegar your olive oil yep. i mean all your things i know you have you have some asparagus here you bet you bet so to me 
Do you want me to show you what's on this plate? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got the... We've got, I'm uh, just going to eat while you talk. Okay? That's fine. This is for mixed olives from Calabria. Mm -hmm. We've got the pickled asparagus. The antipasto calabrese, which is a great combination of hot and sweet with peppers and eggplant and olives and carrots and all good stuff. Uh, of course, artichoke, carciofi. Mm -hmm. um, you've got figs stuffed with walnuts from Calabria also. Apricots, because it's the combination of the sweet mm -hmm. and uh, the bitter, a bit of hot. Simple stuff. Could you sit on the dock all day and eat all this stuff? Oh, like, yeah. seriously, that's what it's for. And then, of course, our new panetti crisps, mm -hmm. which are, okay. you know, crostini, mm -hmm. which are phenomenal. And then we've got a, uh, a red pepper uh, puree that's red pepper, um, of course, eggplant, garlic, lots of garlic. Because okay. you never at the cottage, you know, yeah, right. you got to brush your teeth every once in a while, <laughs> yeah, exactly. right? Because when you get that going... And mascarpone you brought in. Come right. on. So we're going to take a little mascarpone. Now, you know what I love? Yep. Here's the thing. That plate right there, that whole plate, yep. was probably about mm, $25. Right. Okay? Mascarpone, you and I know it. Yeah. cheap. No. Right? No. <laughs> this, this could be $25. It can be in Canada, you know? Yep. So just a little bit of ricotta yep. mascarpone yep. and a little bit of this red pepper puree on there. You can even throw a little microgreen on there. That That's you've got. What we're going to. We're going to. We're going to dress. We're going to dress this up. I a love bit. it. And then with the with the the crostini, the panetti, yeah. we've got you know Parmesan flavored rosemary. Yeah. It's fantastic. We'll oh. Take a little bit of fresh basil. Look at that. A little bit of chiffonade. Basilico. I love it. I love it. I love it. See when you know when you're entertaining at the cottage, you just want to do something this quick and simple because there's important things to do like walk to the beer fridge. <laughs> You know? We haven't done that yet. Exactly. Salute! Okay, it's hot though. Why bother? Mmm. That is delicious. That dip is amazing. Again, don't be scared to, to buy the can, the jars. You know what I mean? Because it's going to save you some money. It's high, high quality. It's not like, right. you know, you're not going out of, of right. it anyway. And then this is fantastic. Not to mention, for us as cooks and you guys as cooks out there, Everything on there can be sides to everything you prepare yep. off the grill, okay? okay? Things like the antipasto calabrese. When you're in that relish condiment aisle at the grocery store, give antipasti a chance. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's something that you want to blow people away, put this on your sausage on the bun off the deck. Right. Blow people's minds, exactly. right? Exactly, exactly. And then, of course, you know, we have some dried apricots. Yeah. Oh. And then it has a nut uh, in the middle. Yes, it does. These are incredible. Again, if you've got the, mm. the crostini, you're going away. It's Look at that. Oh, right, no. Look at that. Do we have to share these with anybody? No. Okay. No, it's okay. There's all sorts of stuff. That with some red wine. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's great. Okay. When I finish eating, yeah. I'll stop talking with my mouth full. That's what exactly. We're going to get some cooking done. Let's do it. Okay. We're going to do some um, stuff on the barbecue. Love it. With chicken, a whole bunch of different things. Away we go. Beautiful. We come back. Won't you join us? Welcome back to At The Cottage with me, Chef D, and my great guest, Chef Christian Pritchard from Aurora Importing, where we're, we're, we're cooking Italian today. We are. And we're going to add a little bit of Canadiana into yes. it now, right? Yes. <laughs> as long as we put bacon in there, we're, we're doing it, eh? Right, eh, pretty much, eh? That's the way to do it, eh? Hey, so tell me a little bit about your pasta there, because okay. this is truly one of my favorite pastas. I love this dish, and like I've been really fortunate, uh, Chef, because this is one that's really blown people away. I don't, you don't want to say that about your dish, but... Mm -hmm. Kind of a surprise, it's a cold pasta salad, mm -hmm. which with Itali Italians, they don't do a lot of cold pasta salads. Nope. This is a, a um, orecchetti, which means ear, Yep. okay? And then it's the antipasto calabrese, some mustard, mayo, parsley, bacon, and a squeeze of lemon juice. It does Mind work. blowing. <laughs> Simple. Okay, the other thing is, you know, a lot of people will rinse their pasta with cold No, <laughs> sorry. No, come on. Yep. It's like uh, it's like using not enough water. Yep. Okay, it's the same thing. Would you swim in a wading pool? No, because you'd be like this, right? Right. With rinsing it off, you're taking off all the starch. What I want is the beautiful flavor of the pork that comes out, the beautiful flavor flavor of the antipasto calabrese to stick into the starch yep. with hot or cold. Right. Right. Yeah. No. I you're agree. rinsing. You're taking everything I know, off. I know. I know. And yes, we're so bad at doing that. It's like swimming naked in the lake, and you're really ugly. 
Don't do it. <laughs> Don't. It's the same thing. Get some clothes on. <laughs> okay, so you're going to chop up some amazing Nutri-Froms bacon. <laughs> yeah. We're reeling them back in, folks. Sorry. I, I'm going to get my Sorry. pan ready because uh, we're going to take this out to the barbecue. Yes, we are. Because we don't want any more heat in the kitchen. <laughs> no. Because we could be the two out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Big chunks of bacon, Chef? P perfect. I love so it. So I put a little bit of the olive oil in the bottom of my pan, and I have my chicken breast here. <laughs> yeah. And my tongs right behind me. I'm going to take uh, my tongs, and we're going to put our chicken breasts in. So we're feeding a bunch of people up here, so we're going to do about five chicken breasts. Beautiful. These are all pasture-raised. Uh, amazing, amazing product. And then, because you got me hooked on this, yes. I, I have this other show called At Home with Chef yes, D. Yes, you do. You know, and you brought these. Yes, I did. And now I, I want more. Yeah, we'll get you it. Okay. Sicilian cherry tomatoes. Yeah. And what makes it so great is like, look, first, look at the color. It's yeah. not that deep red. It's kind of like an orange. I know. That's what someone just said to me this week. It's so good you can drink it, right? Yeah. It is so good. It's it's sweet. You can use that with a little bit of um, pepperoncino, yeah. chili flakes. Killer. Yeah. Look at this. You got so, so we got some of your sun-dried tomatoes. Yep. We got some of the roasted um, peppers that we cut up yep. earlier. Yep. We're going to put this on. This is my version of a cabrizi. Yep. So we're going to put this in the barbecue probably mm, 15 to 20 minutes. Depends right. on the thickness. You want to make sure that it's 180 degrees in the middle. You know that's the perfect temperature. Right. And away we go. So. You got your bacon, yes, I got I my do. chicken, we're gonna put this in a minute, and then we're gonna finish this because I had an idea. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. We have some beautiful pork tenderloin. Mm -hmm. Remember that antipasto plate we made? Yes. Right? Yes. You know the, those all those different flavored vegetables? Absolutely. We're gonna cook our pork, then we're gonna put that right on top of our pork, serve it that way. Simple, easy, Done. fantastic. Done. Now, with your pork tenderloin, you always get this you know, silver the skin. The layer, yeah. Right, so we're just gonna, again, take this away. And you're set to go. Yep. Hey, Chef, you know a question? You're talking yep. about how many minutes in the barbecue for your caprese, yep. uh, the chicken. But you know what? Time is not important. When you're at the cottage, isn't right. it like how many beers you've had? Pretty much. Right. You know, this so would what be would this th be? A three beer. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. It's going to be a two beer. Because <laughs> <beer. Two>. okay. <laughs> you want the dessert to be okay. Right. 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 Yeah. So, yeah, two Waterloo lagers with this would be absolutely fantastic. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Yeah. And, yeah. So we're just I love pork tenderloin, Chef. So do I. It's overlooked a lot. It's yeah. that, you know, um, sometimes pork gets that, you know, really bad rap. And it's a great other white meat, right? It's the best. You know, when, when asked, too, what, what my favorite meat is, honestly, I do often say pork. Mm -hmm. Growing up in a British family, we, we just love pork. Okay, so I'm going to take this to the barbecue. Beautiful. You hold down the fort. I'll hold down the fort. Okay. Take Let's, care of my bacon. I will. I'll Please. be back. Oh, yeah? So your bacon's done. We've yes, been it is. Munching on it for it's a little bit. <laughs> lucky there's any left. Right. Yeah. Perfect. And then just your salad again. You put a little bit of the antipasto mixture. Yeah. On it. I actually put the whole bottle because okay. it's delicious, right? Okay. And the juice that's in there. Okay. Why not? Perfect. So we'll throw, do you want me to do this? Now? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beautiful. Throw the bacon right in. While you're doing that, I'm gonna yep. start on the some pasta. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Wow. <laughs> we imported that from Italy. They end up on the floor up in uh, on the Arbor. Nice job. Nice one. Um, do we have a broom anywhere? I'm going to stop now. Okay. <laughs> So after making the mess at the cottage, I have the pasta in the Good. water, okay? Good job. <laughs> Good job. I'll go back to not spilling anything. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in my pan. Is that okay? Perfect. I'm, I, I have, I'm watching myself. But yeah, you be careful there. Okay, so I've got a little bit of uh, mayo. Okay. And of course, some Dijon mustard. Right. From France, from Edward Fallou. Eh. 
So you import that. from all over the world then, right? Yeah, mostly Italy, of course. But mm. we have products that we have that are from Canada too. We've got some from France, some mm -hmm. Macedonia, um, South America, but predominantly Italy. Okay. Like the, you know, from Sicily all the way to the top. Okay. Yeah. So when are you taking me to Italy? When you want to go, buddy, let's okay. go now. Okay. We're out. Okay. We're out. Done. I'll drop pasta. We're done. Oh, okay, exactly. so I have some onions just kind of sweating my onions off back here. Exactly. So while you've got the onions going, I've got the, uh, yep. the mayo, the mustard. And, and you got all the bacon in there? You didn't say yes, any, did oh, you? Oh, I got all... No. <laughs> You're going to have it in here. So I've got some okay. curly parsley. I'd prefer to use flat leaf, yep. but today they had curly, so okay. that's okay. That's The other thing, that's such a key point. Yeah. Because a lot of times people kind of get bent out of shape because, oh, I don't have this for the rest of Who cares? Of right. Exactly. Change it up. So I'm going to add some 35% cream now. Oh, great. Call my cardiologist. Okay. Love that stuff. Love it. People don't use enough cream. No, they don't. They don't. It's good for our skin. It's, it's, you're right. Oh, look what I happen to have found for us. Because What'd you find? I, I might have found a land shark. <laughs> oh. oh. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. We can't be at the cottage and not be drinking. Hold it. Why eat food? Right, exactly. <laughs> okay, so my cream's going to come up to a boil in just a second. Yep. I'm only going to cook my pasta to, uh, how do you properly say that? Al dente. Al dente. Right? And then I'm going to put it right in from, from take it right out of the water, yep. put it right into the pasta. Because, again, as you mentioned earlier, why do we not, why do we not drain it? <laughs> exactly. Because you know what? You, it, you're, you're taking all the starch off mm -hmm. the pasta. That's essentially it. You want everything to suck to it too, right? Right, yeah. And as Canadians, the yep. analogy is don't swim in the lake naked. You want to have the starch <laughs> all over you so you can stay warm. Yep. Come on. Okay, Simple so as I'm that. adding a little bit of mascarpone cheese back here. Yep. Hold on, 35% and mascarpone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a glass of red wine. I'll cut all the fat. We'll I got it. Go. I got it. Season it with a little salt. That's good. And a little salt. I love it. Okay. My pasta? Oh, yeah. We're getting there. I'm using your lemon contraption here, okay, Chef. Okay, this is called my margarita maker. Okay. <laughs> so now, Right? So, yeah. you, you, again. Go for it. Help okay, me out. Ready? Go for it. Look at this. Whoa! How's that for juice? Absolutely perfect. And so a bunch of bring it all I together. Oh, I know, right? And yeah. lemons are like sunshine. Yep. Right. Especially if you're using them in a margarita. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. A little more parsley. Okay, so we're uh, we're getting here. Uh, I got my cream going. Got another yep. spoon. Yeah. And attempt to bring the pasta out of the pot without spilling any on the floor. <laughs> Try. See what and happens then, when you do uh, Italian food, chef. Yep. So, these are, again, frozen peas, thawed them out. But the great thing about this is you yeah. can have them all summer long at the cottage, put them in the freezer, take out what you need every now and then, and away you go. That's it, man. Now well, I've got this baby done. Okay, I got the pasta going in. Oh. How good's that? Amazing. I'm just looking at your caprese. Okay. <laughs> Again, keeping, you know, the heat outside, using your barbecue as an oven, you know, and then that way your cottage doesn't get hot. That's the way you do it. I don't worry about that stuff. I make a salad quickly and I drink beer. Okay, we're almost done. I have my pork tenderloin. I brought it, oh. you know, grilled it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That no, looks that's amazing. that's perfect. Okay, so again, taking a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of everything. Sure, why not? How delicious is this? And as we said, you know, like having all this stuff, you never waste a thing. No. And that's what we're all about in food is, you know. Right. Oh, antipasto calabrese on there, which will go nicely with the, the uh, ensalada, okay. the pasta they made. How perfect is that? Right? Yep. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of basil. Love it. Right in. Oh, cream. By the way, the pasta that you're using mm -hmm. is a very, very interesting pasta made by Piero okay. uh, from southern Italy, and that's called Pacchetti. Okay. Pacchetti is from the uh, from off the Amalfi Coast on the island of Capri, Caprese. So it all matches. That's a very, very famous pasta. The big tubes that yep. you'd have only on the island of Capri. And we bring them here and just we, for you, right? For, for the cottage, right? So you can use the cream and the mascarpone and. You know, lie on the deck and basically have a nap for six hours. That, <laughs> look at that! 
perfection, buddy. <gasps> oh, boiling we'll away. Just, yeah, we'll just put that there because Lord knows I've burnt myself many, many yeah, times. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, cheers, brother. Cheers. Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, man. Come on. I love it. I love it. Perfect. It's the best. So, do you, you know what? You forgot something, though. What did, it, what did I forget? <laughs> you didn't talk about your chicken dish. Oh, the caprese. Right. Come on. Come so on. Our, our caprese, caprese um, chicken, we put a little bit of that beautiful uh, tomato. Yep. Sauce, Sicilian cherry tomato. Right. Yep. Amazing. And we I baked it in, in the barbecue. Yep. Again, using the outdoor oven. Yep. And then I put some fresh basil, uh, roasted peppers, some of your sun dried tomatoes. Yep. And then. Um, Fresh basil, some cheese. It's a pasture-raised chicken, which is absolutely fantastic. Amazing. High, high omega threes in it, and then of course our pork tenderloin. Um, again, healthy, healthy pork. Easy. It's it's that great other white meat as we were talking earlier. So uh, should we eat it or should we serve it? Oh well, I think we should eat it, but we should serve we it. We should serve yeah, it. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, do you want to start with your pasta salad, and I'll start sure. cutting up some of the pork. Okay. So you know what? Are you going to serve them up here, Chef? Or do you want to pass the plate over? How do you okay. want to do this? Yeah, pass the plate over, and, I'll and and then we'll take it. We'll take it over. Okay. Put this here. You know, I guess we should feed them because they did give us their cottage. Well, you know what? Did they give us their cottage, or did we take it? I don't know. What's the <laughs> rental agreement look like? I have to check. This this pasta salad, by the way, yep. is incredible. The bacon in there, it's the tanginess. Okay. And the pasta's a nice and al dente. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. So I'll put a little bit of our pasta on here. Yeah. A little bit of chicken. Beautiful. And then we'll do this four, three more times okay. for our other friends. You and away it. we go. I'll get another pasta on here. Okay. All right. Oh, this what smells amazing. Some pork. Oh, thank you, Chef. You're welcome. Wow, look at this. Gentlemen, enjoy. Oh, wow. Here we go. What oh, do you want right there? Here we go. Yeah. Enjoy. Unbelievable. I love it. What do you call this? Come on. Pakan. Pakan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> Look at that. If you want to, you can turn them over halfway through the cooking process. We're not gonna look at it for about two hours. The whole house is gonna smell amazing. The meat's gonna be tender. Hi. Who's that? 